everyone, welcome back to Huskers in Enemy Territory. Today I was going to talk about the Rutgers Scarlet Knights season preview video for 2021. Uh, the 2020 campaign, the Knights went 3-6 and six with wins over Michigan State uh, in Lansing 38-27, at Purdue 37-30, and Maryland 27-24. With that being said, it was a great showing by first year uh, well, not first year head coach, but first year being back, Greg Schiano. Uh, going into um, the 2020 campaign, Rutgers uh, will have some good players coming back. And let's cover the strengths and weaknesses. Uh, starting with the strengths. Rutgers brings back uh, good pieces throughout its roster. Uh, and there's quality depth at running back position, wide receiver, uh, linebacker and secondary great depth at uh, quarterback with the addition of Evan Simon and he'll potentially um, push Noah Vero uh, at, to start um, even though in my opinion I think uh, Noah will uh, retain that position uh, just because I think Greg uh, Shiano kind of likes having those veteran quarterbacks um, and it wasn't like uh, Noah didn't have a very good uh, year last year he had a 61.1 uh, uh, completion percentage which is pretty good uh, about 1200 yards passing and I'm not sure how many yards rushing but um, he had nine uh, touchdowns and eight interceptions last year so fairly decent uh, for him um, and a little tidbit um, I was told this might help out with my videos a little bit uh, if you're really enjoying the content, considering a like and subscribe, it's free of no charge. And now back to some of the weaknesses of Rutgers uh, Scarlet Knights. So into that, we're going to talk about some of the weaknesses uh, of the Scarlet Knights. And it kind of starts on the offensive line. But they should be better uh, from last year. But the big... Uh, thing that I noticed was that they they're having a little bit of problems with uh, depth so if one of their guys goes down uh, they're not going to really re be able to replace the um, the guy ahead of them I mean if that makes sense um, and I said that it would probably lead to um, some problems um, finding a reliable pass rusher and depth on the interior defensive line are also big question marks for the um, Scarlet Knights and um, also uh, finding um, uh, bringing in uh, right tackle. The, he, he's not a returning uh, starter. Uh, let's see. Um, and they do have a couple question marks at linebacker and cornerback too. Uh, looks like they're bringing in new um, starters at, at those positions as well. Now, um, I wanted to do kind of transition to a fan's perspective and um, I follow him on Twitter and his, he goes by AP. Um, some of the strengths that he uh, laid out were uh, linebacker, best position group on the team, uh, Fat Akusi was an all Big Ten selection, Fog, uh, Fog has been a captain, a lot of depth to rotate six to seven guys there. Um, he says, cornerbacks are loaded again. Our best uh, corner is Avery Young, moving up to safety to make up for weaknesses there. Uh, running back is the best group on the offense, although wide receiver took a big stride in 2021. Uh, I don't want to butcher his name, but I think it's uh, Pacachu. Uh, uh, and then the running back. He, I guess he's the running back. And then Milton, uh, wide receiver, are special players. Uh, weaknesses, according to him. Uh, tight end is the worst on the team from last year. But the emergence of uh, Kana Pika this spring could be big. O-line needs to find the right uh, five guys. Still have a stud at uh, left ta uh, tackle, uh, Raquan O'Neal. Uh, let's see. For uh, reasons to be bullish on the, the Scarlet Knights, uh, continuality 
The whole uh, full-time coaching staff is back. Uh, favorable uh, schedule. Three winnable um, out-of-conference games with Michigan State, um, Maryland, and Maryland at home, and a crossover with Illinois. Reasons to be bearish with the Scarlet Knights. Defense uh, still gets gashed up the middle with bigger running backs. And COVID year last year, so wasn't everything wasn't normal, uh, according to AP. Um, his record um, range is uh, four to seven wins. So that's the kind of the transition uh, right now. Uh, talking about what I predict uh, the Scarlet Knights to go. Um, now, like I said, on to the record predictions. Um, I think that if everything lines up, uh, the max total for the Rutgers Scarlet Knights will be 7-5. and five. Um, If things regress, I could see them going 4-8. and eight. Um, I had them winning at Temple, Syracuse, Delaware, um, losing to Michigan, losing to Ohio State, winning at Michigan State, winning at Illinois, losing to Wisconsin, losing to Indiana, losing to Penn State, and winning at Maryland. So that's kind of where I had it set at, but I wanted to be like max 7-5 and five just in case they do beat maybe like Penn State. And then obviously the, the, the floor would be 4-8 and eight for me, I believe. Um, it was fun learning and researching about uh, the Rutgers S Scarlet Knights because I hadn't really, um, really ever looked into them um, before getting into this kind of a series of, um, you know, doing season previews for all these other teams. So um, it was really a lot of fun, and I think I'm going to enjoy doing this series with all the Big Ten teams. Um, up next will be the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And uh, by the way, thank you for all the new subscribers on my channel. Uh, I appreciate everyone that's come on here and watched my videos and commented for me on the videos as well. Um, and thank you very much for watching my videos. And as always, go Big Red.